हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज दलित सोनी एंड यू आर वाचिंग एमसीक्यू प्रैक्टिस सीरीज बाय दृष्टि आई एस दिस सीरीज इज पार्ट ऑफ अवर इनिशिएटिव दैट इज टारगेट यूपीएससी प्लिम्स 2024 इन विच वी हैव कम अप विद टू टाइप्स ऑफ मॉड्यूल्स वन इज रिलेटेड टू योर करंट अफेयर्स सेकंड इज एमसीक्यू प्रैक्टिस सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग सर्टन एमसीक्यूज व्हिच आर रिलेटेड टू योर एनवायरमेंट सेक्शन दैट इज द सेट 4 ऑफ द वीडियो सो देयर आर थ्री वीडियोस ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड सो यू कैन गो एंड वॉच दोस वीडियोस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 ऑफ द सीरीज क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 इन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग can be a threat to biodiversity so they are talking about certain threats which are to be posed to biodiversity so global warming habitat fragmentation infection by foreign species encouragement of vegetarianism choose the correct answers based on the following code now if you are looking at the above options you can see bio, uh, this global warming can be a threat to biodiversity habitat fragmentation can be a threat then when we are talking about the infection by the foreign species that is basically they are talking about your alien species or alien invasive species okay so that is also a threat and when we are talking about the fourth uh, element which are given that is encouragement of the vegetation now that is a little bit overboard so this can be rejected uh, option a would be your right answer now going to the question number second before that there is an explanation which is given and they have uh, you know used this uh, elements like global warming housing fa- fragmentation or you can say habitat habitat fragmentation and uh, alien invasive species then climate change okay now question number 2 Biodiversity remains the basic of human existence through the following mediums. Okay, now when we are talking about the biodiversity, so it includes all the kind of species or the different kind of organisms which are there from all sources in your ecosystem. Okay, so now they are saying that uh, biodiversity remains the basic of human existence. So that is true. Other than that, when we see uh, in 1992 there was this uh, Rio Earth Summit, which has given the definition, which we will discuss in the explanation part. Okay, so they are talking about these elements like soil formation, prevention of the soil erosion, cycling, recycling of the waste, and crop pollination. Choose the correct answers based on the following code. So basically, they are saying that these biodiversity is important for us, and through these mediums, this can be ensured. So obviously, soil formation, prevention of soil erosion, all the uh, factors which are impacting your biological factors, or you can say biology or ecosystem as a whole, will be included over here. So option D would be your right answer. That is one, two, three, and four. Now let's see the explanation here. You can say biodiversity is a difference between the organism from all sources such as interregional, terrestrial, marine, and other aquatic systems, as well as the diversity found in all ecological groups of which they are part of. So basically, uh, diversity between the groups as well as the ecosystems. That is uh, the difference, whatever which is present over there, that is called biodiversity. And this definition was given in the Earth Summit or Rio Earth Summit that has happened in 1992. Okay. Uh, when we are talking about the biodiversity that includes the diversity within the species among the different species or the ecological diversity or you can say the ecosystem diversity okay so option d is your right answer which we have already discussed now question number 3 match the following living organism with their characteristics now here some organisms are given like monera prasta protista uh, plantae uh, pungi and animalia okay so these are the characteristics which are given over here now let's go through the options first here you can see this elim- Animalia. Okay, so now obviously these are talking about some organism. When we are talking about this plantae, here you can say that they are talking about the plant. Monera. When we see, so there is this term that is mono, which is included over here. So basically, they are talking about something which is unicellular. Okay, so let's see. When we are talking about this monera, so this is unicellular and this is also unicellular. So one and three can be your answer. So let's see. For A, one and three is given in C and D. So you can eliminate one and two. Now A or B. Okay. Now. When we are talking about this plantae here, you can say second is the one which is having this the uh, that plant with the multicellular photosynthesis that is plantae. Okay, so C for C we have two. So this is the only option which is which can be true. When we are talking about this monera here, they have said that unicellular microorganism. So this is also true. Okay, so you can say that C would be your right answer. Other than that, you can match all the uh, given options like. Uh, for protista, it is unicellular, mainly aquatic animals. When we are talking about this uh, uh, pangae, they are basically multicellular biodecomposers and animalia, that is multicellular organism eaters. Okay, so I hope you understand that option C would be the right answer. Most of the time, you won't have an idea about all of these given. So go for the smart guesses and the elimination. Now, question number four: Which of the following statement is or are correct? First is isolated islands have high biodiversity. 
now they are talking about isolated islands okay since island is isolated so obviously the population which is living over here that is also isolated so there are chances that there is limited population and there is limited competition among the population okay so now obviously these uh, species are not having any kind of interaction outside this particular island so we can say that the biodiversity here that remains the limited uh, that remains limited okay so we can say that that will not have high biodiversity that will have a limited biodiversity because uh, there are less competition among the predators and you can say that less uh, uh, population of predators and the uh, animals which are living over there okay so this is incorrect then biodiversity is less in coral reefs and the tropical forest you must have heard that the evergreen tropical forest and the coral reefs these are a place of high diversity okay so we can say that this is also incorrect now biodiversity is less in europe than in south asia now let's see if this is our globe this is our equator along the equator you can see about you know some 25 to uh, you know 25 north to 25 south you will see that this is these are the areas of basically high diversity because of the high rain etc these are rainforest and that is why these are areas of high diversity when we see at the look at the poles north pole and the south pole we will see these are the area of almost no diversity because uh, because of the harsh condition there are very less vegetation and the uh, flora and fauna over there so we can say this is the place of low diversity so you can say that from equator to pole the situation is such that the equator has the high diversity and pole has the limited diversity okay so europe is somewhere here and south asia is somewhere here closer to the uh, equator you can say so that is why we can simply say that south asia has the high diversity than europe okay so biodiversity is europe in is less than south asia so this is correct so option b would be your right answer that is only three okay so here you can go through this particular slide that is number of competitors and the predator is limited in the isolated islands that is why the number of plant and animal is also limited now when we are talking about the biodiversity it is maximum along the tropical regions and decreases towards the pole hence europe has the less diversity okay question number five which of the following terms best describe the bio prospecting okay when we are talking about this bio prospecting as a term this is basically a term wherein you go for the research research in your biological or you can say biochemical components any kind of research which is related to uh, you know biology and chemicals and then ultimately you go for the commercial use of that particular research or the result and ultimately you come up with a result or a product this product can be useful for humankind or our uh, industries etc okay so ultimately you can say that if there is a uh, you know some kind of uh, research on the genes and some kind of drug and ultimately you are coming with some kind of cosmetics or any kind of medicine so that is basically bio prospecting okay so now let's see or let's read the options an ethical method of commercial exploration of the biological sources they are talking about only biological sources that source can be biological as well as chemical source one thing second thing is they are talking about unethical here there is no uh, such thing that unethical or ethical it is just the research now this particular factor is not uh, present over there so these keywords are quite important over here okay so uh, that is incorrect now the process in which the nutritional quality of the food crops is improved by the agronomic practices so specifically they are talking about the agriculture only okay so that is not true then a systematic research for commercially useful product obtained from the biological resources okay so this can be a option which which can be true okay so you have to go for the most logical or the most appropriate answer okay now synthesis of the substance by the living organism now this is incorrect okay so option c would be your right answer here you can see a systematic re research for biochemicals and the genetic information in the nature to develop commercially valuable product that is uh, medicine agriculture cosmetic and other applications okay so this is basically once you will go for the you know bio prospecting then there will be a research then you will generate a product because of that product there will be an income that income can be used for the conservation of the uh, you can say you know, your environment and ultimately that is basically your bio prospecting okay now question number six which of the following is part of well quartet okay so basically when we are talking about this well quartet this is a term which is there is in biodiversity so they this quadrant is basically dealing with the biodiversity loss so uh, there are four kind of factors which are included in this quadrant that is related to biodiversity loss so here it is given 
habitat loss and fragmentation second is over exploitation and invasive of alien invasion of alien races okay so we have seen that all of these three are basically some factors which are ultimately leading to the biodiversity loss so option d would be your right answer then we talk about this well caught rate here you can see well caught rate is term that is related to four major causes of biodiversity loss one is habitat loss and fragmentation alien species then co extinction and the overall exploitation okay over exploitation of the natural resources so i hope this is clear now moving further question number 7 which of the following pairs are correctly matched alpha diversity beta diversity and gamma diversity so we will see when we are talking about the alpha diversity so that is basically uh, you know uh, number of species in a particular ecosystem okay so let's see uh, there is this diagram let's say there is one ecosystem there are you know x y z species okay so these number of species are three so here you can say that alpha diversity will be three okay now coming to the beta diversity beta diversity would be among the these two ecosystems okay so let's say here species a x y and b are living over here okay so you know that there are one two three or four species okay which are uh, when we are looking at these two uh, ecosystems together you can see that there is x there is y there is a there is b and there is z so the beta diversity would be 5 so we are looking at the two ecosystems together okay now there are various ecosystems in that particular region if we are looking at all the ecosystem together that is basically your gamma diversity okay so let's come to the options here it reflects the diversity of species in an ecosystem in an ecosystem then it is alpha diversity so this is correct now beta diversity it is overall diversity of different ecosystem in an area they are saying that different ecosystems in an area so ultimately that is gamma diversity okay now uh, when we are talking about this uh, option that is uh, this is the species diversity between the ecosystems as i told you between the ecosystem if it is then it is beta diversity so they have interchanged it so these two are incorrect only one is your answer b would be your right answer these are the definition over here you can see the same diagram which i have drawn here that is given over here so if there is a they are talking about only one ecosystem that is alpha diversity if they are talking about these two ecosystems then it is beta uh, beta diversity and if they are talking about the whole region that is gamma diversity okay now this is given in the form of words and now question number 8 which of the following statement is or are true the diversity of gene of an organism of the same species is called genetic diversity so basically they are saying that let's say there is an human individual that is a and there is human individual that is b so whatever difference between these two uh, genes of these two people is there that is basically a genetic diversity so that is from the same species but the, uh, there is a difference in the gene that is genetic diversity now a group of organism having similar physical characteristics is called species so when we are talking about human species so all the humans will have similar physical characteristics okay there can be a small differences but overall all of them will have two hands two uh, two legs two eyes one nose etc okay so that is basically uh, correct okay now coming to the third that is the diversity of animal species in a particular area is called the uh, ecosystem diversity so basically here when we are talking about the ecosystem diversity that is the diversity of the plant or animal which are living in a community okay from the another community so we are you know basically comparing the two uh, you know communities which are living in an ecosystem that is what ecosystem diversity is when we are talking about the diversity of animal species in a particular area that is basically your species diversity okay i hope that is clear so one and two would be your right answer option a okay you can go through this particular lines diversity of the genes of organism of the same species is called basically genetic diversity let's say if they are talking about the humans then the diversity between the humans will be called a genetic diversity in the process of adapting themselves to uh, to the changes in the different species of the flora and fauna in the environment uh, the changes occur in the genes of the organism okay that is basically your evolution uh, theory then a group of organism with similar physical characteristics is called species which we have already seen then diversity of species of an animal in a particular area it is called species diversity and when we are talking about the ecosystem diversity that is the diversity between the communities okay so you can go through these definitions now question number 9 apart from hunting and theft what are the other possible reasons for the decline of the population of ganga river dolphin or this dolphin is also known as susu because of the ultrasonic waves they are using for the navigation in the uh, you know water body uh, they actually generate some kind of voice that is uh, you know sounding something like susu so that is why they are also known as susu 
okay now construction of dam and barrages on the rivers now obviously they will hinder the navigation so that is why this can be a possible threat then increase in the number of population in the crocodiles in the river now obviously if the there will be an interaction between the crocodile and the dolphin then there might be a you know competition but the thing is crocodiles are too large okay and river dolphins are too smart and small uh, species so there are high chances that there won't be any kind of inter, uh, you know encounter so this particular increase in the population of the crocodile in the river they will not impact the dolphins okay then accidentally getting entangled in the fishing nets so this is a threat in uh, when we are talking about the areas of ganga and brahmaputra this threat is prominent and use of synthetic fertilizer and the other agriculture chemical in the crops near rivers so basically that is leading to population that is leading to your pollution so ultimately pollution is a threat okay so that is also a threat so one three and four would be your right answer that is c okay so you can go through this uh, hunting theft pollution and then there is this chemicals which are there because of which pollution will increase and the getting entangled in the nets now when we are talking about the crocodile crocodile does not chase their prey through water because they are not sharks they are heavy in, uh, you know they are large and crocodiles do prey on the aquatic an animals such as fish turtle from time to time because these are generally slow uh, slow moving and they are not as smart as dolphins okay so they do not interact with dolphins much okay now here something uh, some information is given about the dolphin here you can go uh, national aquatic animal of india there are certain facts as i told you they will use ultrasonic sound uh, for their navigation and they will uh, you know come up with this particular uh, voice that is susu that is why they are also known as susu this is an endangered species appendix one of the sites and schedule one of the wpa uh, act of 19, uh, 1972 okay there are these threats which we have already discussed and there are some conservation efforts which are there project dolphin is there then national dolphin research center is there in patna and then we have some dedicated dolphin sanctuaries that is Vikramshila that is in Bhagalpur of Bihar and Hastinapur sanctuary that is uh, uh, proposed in UP and it is not yet uh, implemented okay now last question that is uh, the following list or list are included in the red data book published by the IUCN okay so list of the endemic plants and animal species present in the biodiversity hotspot so that particular list is uh, you know printed or you can say come up with by the conservation international okay and not by this iucn okay when we are talking about the list of endangered plant and elements okay so this is the red data book which which we are talking about so this is true the list of protected sites for natural and the nature and the natural resources conservation in different countries this list is uh, you know given by the unesco okay and not by the iucn so option b would be your right answer only two okay so this is the explanation given uh, with respect to iucn you can go through it and for pure practice there is this question iucn which of the following statement correctly explain the endangered category of okay so when we are talking about the endangered category of iucn uh, which is the uh, statement which is right okay when there is no doubt about extinction or death of the last member of the species then it is termed extinct in the world wild then uh, competition extinction of all members of a species from a particular habitat is called extinct category if the members of the species are on the verge of extinction in the future due to some risk then it is called endangered category and when we are talking about a species that appears to be extinct in the terms uh, termed as a low risk category okay now there are some codes given accordingly uh, with respect to the statement you have to choose the correct code okay with that i would like to take your leave and i hope you are watching this series and uh, if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel thank you For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.